In the previous video, we've discussed the traditional detection and response solution and how it is implemented. With that, here are the challenges of a traditional detection and response solution when it is enforced. First, data aggregation and analysis are expensive and time-consuming. Individual tools store and index data differently, forcing local teams to go at it alone in their effort to integrate. Building and maintaining security data lakes is also expensive and time-consuming. Most organizations aren't equipped to employ AI or machine learning techniques on these custom-built security data repositories, lacking skills and the budget required to build them. Even when data is aggregated, it is seldom integrated with the daily workflow of the security analyst. The tools often lack sophisticated attack visualization, forcing analysts to query and parse data manually. Second, security teams can't keep up. When security analysts were asked what their biggest TDR challenges are, ESG survey data showed that analysts are so busy triaging current issues that they aren't spending any time getting more proactive with strategy, processes, and improved infrastructure. This research further shows that organizations are struggling with the rapid addition of new hosts, applications, and users together with the inability to deploy agents to a percentage of their devices. Lastly, EDR solutions lack the full range of telemetry. EDR solutions have set the stage by delivering powerful threat detection and response capabilities, including the ability to continuously compare activity with threat intelligence, visualize an attack, respond by killing or banning processes, restrict access to specific domains and IP addresses, and request additional forensics data. But while the functions available in modern EDR solutions are valuable, they often require correlation with other security data to construct a complete view of the attack. For organizations that have already deployed endpoint detection and response solutions, endpoint-only telemetry lacks completeness and therefore potentially hides attacker behaviors. These are some of the challenges of traditional detection and response solutions. So, what does it need to address these problems? For starters, the threat detection and response must be optimized through the use of rapid and continuous event behavior and alert analysis from all aspects of the security stack. TDR's ability to validate incidents across multiple security vectors highly depends on whether it is equipped with the complete picture of what happens in the endpoint, network, email, and cloud. This way, they can shut down threats faster, respond faster, and ultimately head off attackers before they do damage. Next, having more telemetry from network, email, and cloud devices helps a lot supplement this broad data with AI or machine learning-driven analytics to detect and prioritize the most important threats so analysts can figure out root causes faster. Combining network traffic analysis with endpoint telemetry signals early signs of attackers attempting to move laterally throughout the infrastructure. We've highlighted three major concerns with implementing traditional detection and response solutions, as well as the possible solutions that would help alleviate the burden on the security analysts. In the next part, we will take a look at the approach used by Trend Micro XDR to address these challenges. Make sure to watch the remaining parts of this episode to fully understand the importance of Trend Micro's managed XDR solution.